Hey everyone, in this video I'm going to break down a couple chickens into a few basic cuts. Remember to hit like and subscribe and let's start cooking. Start by trimming the excess fat and skin from around the cavity of the chicken. Flip it so that it's breast side down, put your thumbs on the thigh joints and pop them out of the sockets. Flip it back over onto its back and cut along the fat line just through the skin to expose the thigh. When it is, fold the thigh over so you can see the outline of the cut. You want to carve around the joint to the backbone and then down. My knife starts carving out the thigh where the meat dips into the backbone. And once I pass the joint, I just keep the knife against the body. To take off the breast, start by cutting down either side of the breastbone. Use your fingers to create a little bit of separation if needed so that you can clearly see the ribcage. With the tip of the knife, carve along the bottom half of the breast until it's free from the body. Now the ribs are clearly exposed to cut along. So follow them all the way up the chicken and you'll hit the wing joint. Cut through that and you're home free. One of the best parts about buying a whole chicken as opposed to buying individual cuts is that you get the carcass afterwards and you could use that to make a beautiful stock. And that stock could either turn into a soup or it could turn into a sauce for one of your chicken dishes. One of the keys to proper butchery may sound obvious but it is the mistake I see the most often. You always have to be able to see where the knife is going, and that means moving the product around so you can get a better angle. As you can see, I flipped this bird around quite a bit so I can clearly see what I'm doing. Another way to create better cutting angles is to use your hands. It sounds funny, but when it comes to butchery, you're trying to cut as little as possible because knives aren't forgiving tools. So just like a skilled craftsman, measure twice, cut once. These carcasses will make a perfect stock. Okay, now that we've quartered the chicken, let's get into some of the cuts. For a boneless chicken thigh, start by using the tip of the knife to cut through the thigh to the bone, from the joint all the way to the end of the drumstick. You could easily use your fingers to separate the meat from the leg bone. Once it is, cut the meat from it. Use the back of your knife to scrape the bone clean. Repeat this process with the thigh bone so the only thing attached to the meat is the joint. To save as much meat as I can, I'm using the back of the knife to pull the meat away from the joint before I ever make a cut. And once the cartilage is visible, cut the meat as close as you can to it to save as much as possible. Clean up any little bits of tendon or cartilage and we have a boneless chicken thigh that's ready to cook. This one I'm just going to divide into thigh and drumstick. Visually you should be able to tell where to separate them and all you have to do is cut through the joint, really easy. Now we'll move on to the chicken breast. It still has the full wing attached, so the first thing I'm going to do is remove the top part. Now, if you've never done this before, you might be shocked to see blood in the wings. It's okay and totally fine to eat, just sometimes the wings don't completely drain. Take the wing tips off the wing to add them to the stock. Moving back to the breast, just clean off any excess skin or fat. This cut is called a chicken supreme, and to do it, I'm not going to remove the drum, but I am going to clean the meat up around it. Using the back of the knife, I'm peeling the meat from the bone and exposing it. This is a cut you'll see at a lot of restaurants, and you can't usually get it from a butcher unless you request it. It's basically a cut that's purely for presentation and style points. But, you know, people eat with their eyes first, so if your presentation's better, it might make your food taste better.
Okay, now this one, quick and easy, we're just gonna do a boneless, skinless chicken breast. Remove the wing by cutting around the joint, try not to get into the breast meat. And to remove the skin, it's as easy as it looks. Just grab it with one hand and hold the breast down with the other and pull until it comes off. You might need to use the knife a little bit at the end. And then just trim off any excess fat. You could either leave the chicken tender on or you could save it for something like chicken fingers. Either way, it's really easy to remove. You basically just pull it off. Taking the skin off of the chicken thigh is much the same as taking it off the breast. You basically grab a handful and pull. But chicken can be quite slippery, so don't accidentally pull too hard and throw it across the room. If you can't pull it off all the way, just use a knife. Here I'm just going to debone another chicken thigh to make a boneless skinless one. Skin on or off, the thigh is so underutilized in restaurants and at home, it's hands down the best cut. It may not be as pretty as the breast, but it has a ton more flavor and all it takes is a little imagination to come up with something that will blow people away. And that's just about it. There are more cuts to go over, but I just wanted to cover the basic, most practical ones for now. So that you could go into the grocery store and grab the $8 whole chicken rather than grabbing the four pack of boneless skinless breasts for double the price. As always, remember to like, subscribe, and keep on cooking.